Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am so excited to be able to bring you this preview of Frog Sword. You might remember this game from the first episode of Devlog. I was very impressed by it then, but I did have some reservations as to whether or not the game would actually turn out in a playable form the way it looked in the animations and the mock-ups that they were showing very early on. Well, I have to say that all of my doubts, all of my fears, completely unfounded. This game plays absolutely wonderfully, and I am privileged to be able to bring you this look at the work-in-progress version of Frog Sword. So now, without any further ado, let's get to the action. Actually, wait, I do have a little more ado to do in the form of a disclaimer. This is an extremely early preview build. As I've said, it is a work in progress. So please take any errors, bugs, or crashes I might get with a grain of salt. This isn't a first impression because this isn't a game yet. It's just an early look at what I think will be one of the best games of 2014. We start here on the level select screen, 19 levels in world number one or world number green. We can get a little preview of the other worlds, their architecture, possibly their color scheme, but the only playable thing we have in this demo is world green or world number one. Now, first things first, there's no music in this game, so I am still forced to imagine what amazing tunes will accompany this sword-wielding frog, but he does make a pretty cool sound when he runs. And a pretty cool sound when he jumps, too. I love it. I love it. Now, the first few levels are going to be some uh, practical tutorializing, uh, teaching you to do things like jump over gaps and proceed towards the exit. Here, we're going to get taught the concept of wall jumping. Now, the end game might have some more deliberate tutorializing in it, but I like this way of doing things. I like, hey, here's some walls. Figure it out. You got to get to the top. How are you going to do it? Well, hey, if I jump against this wall, I kind of, yeah, right. If you haven't seen Ego Raptor's uh, uh, video on Mega Man X and how it tutorializes in its initial level, that's kind of what I'm talking about here. That sense of uh, you can learn to play a game by <gasps> playing a game. Pretty crazy, huh? So you're going to learn things really quickly, like what do these spikes do? Well, they kill me. Okay, there's no real consequence to death, so I'm just going to come right back and I'm going to apply what I've learned. Now I'm getting to learn two concepts, getting to put together two things I've previously learned. The fact that spikes kill me and I can wall jump. This is also a section where most of us will learn about the air dash without being explicitly told about it. Now, I think that there is some value to explicit tutorialization in games, especially for people who don't play a lot of games. Uh, so it is needed at times, but in a game like this, uh, the audience that this game appeals to is going to be the audience that can kind of figure this stuff out on their own. So we're going to encounter our first enemies here. As I've said before, we have this uh, air dash. One cool thing that you will learn as you go is that the air dash actually resets when you kill an enemy. So we can do something like this. Pretty cool, huh? I love that sound. I love the way that it kind of pitches up, moving up, bum, 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 bum. I love it. I love it. Oh, seriously, guys, you can't imagine the size of the smile on my face right now. I'm so happy to be previewing this game. I'm so happy to be playing it at all. Hey, what's that? A star? I wonder, could we get that? I'm sure we could use some of our fancy moves to get that. Yes, indeed we did. There we go. So stars don't do anything at this point, but you have to imagine there'll be some kind of a bonus in the final version of the game. So here we're kind of coming to a point where we have to put together some of our concepts. Uh, while we could have killed the bats in the uh, other levels without resetting our air dash and using that to any effect, we kind of have to here, or we get the opportunity to, certainly. There's a star way up there. How would I get that? Well, I'd probably get it by killing this and then air dashing up to get it like that. The concepts of this game, as they come together, you know, I saw it all in preview form, but actually getting to experience it it's such a delight. It's just, it's such a, it's such a delight. I can't even, I, I can't even express it fully in words. I just can't. So let's kill some skeletons, some axe throwing skeletons. Almost got killed by him. 
And as we go forward, we're going to continue to get levels that challenge us to put together our skills, to refine our skills, and I absolutely love that kind of stuff. I just absolutely love it. Haha. -ha. I smacked away your axe. Now these enemies here, these have to actually be some of the most annoying in the game because you can see that they're just sort of randomly flailing this lightsaber sword that they have. And that seems like that would be something really easy to avoid. But I find myself killed by this enemy more so than any other enemy in the game. It's because of that random nature. Well, I mean, it's not random. He's swinging in an exact pattern, but it's that random sort of, he's just kind of swinging. Like he's, he's not waiting and being poised and and actually trying to kill me with a calculated attack. He's he's just flailing a sword. Look at him. Somehow they managed to tag me so often. Now this is a level where you first really get to put a lot of your skills together. Now there's an elegant way to do some of this stuff, uh, but I am mostly just gonna do it the ugly way, which allows you to survive. Now I'm sure you could do some complex air dashing through there and make that look real nice and pretty, but I'm just happy to get through there alive. So another concept we were learning about right there at the end of that level was the fact that when you first cling to a wall, you actually kind of climb up it a bit. And that allowed me to ascend that very tight corridor near the exit and uh, make my way out. Whoa, close one there. Kind of got, you'll notice in, in uh, gameplay videos, I kind of get silent when I'm concentrating. <laughs> oh, did I do that? I did that. Well darn. Oh, okay. That didn't go as planned. I actually meant to kill him. I, apparently I can't. With my giant sword, I cannot kill that skeleton. There we go. Yeah, right. Okay, just a moment of silence for my stupidity there. And that's how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> All right, so the controls on this game already at this early point, extremely tight. I really, really like the way this game controls. I like the way it feels. It's got a great jump, uh, really, really great jump. Uh, I have no complaints so far about pretty much any of it. Um, I love the jump because you've got the small jump, you've got the big jump. Love it. The air dash works perfectly. The sword, I like the swing of the sword. Uh, I, I really, I've got no complaints whatsoever, really, at this point with the game. Uh, the one thing that the developers have brought up, which I do tend to concur with, is it would be a little bit uh, better if they had something to uh, help. Wow, I jumped off the top of the level. <laughs> I guess you can't jump out of the top of reality or you will die. Uh, a, perhaps a better way to indicate when your air dash has reset <clears throat> from killing an enemy, especially. Excuse me. Uh, ooh, no air dash there. Uh, something that they mentioned is maybe his uh, scarf could appear or disappear or change colors. Uh, yeah, something like that. A visual indicator of when your air dash has reset uh, would be extremely helpful. Uh, it's difficult, I'm sure, to figure out a way to work that in with the limited pixels and whatnot that are available. Uh, but something like that would be absolutely indispensable. Apart from that, that's really all I've got uh, in terms of, of feedback. I think everything is pretty uh, pretty tight at this point. Uh, this is an interesting one because there's a few different ways to get through here, uh, as I have discovered. Um, I'm just going to kind of take it safe and go this way. Uh, but there are some different uh, ways you can traverse that. Not radically different. They all kind of end up in the same place, but uh, different enough to give you a little bit of an option there. This game isn't necessarily meant to be about uh, giving you those different options, but it is nice to have them. So uh, here, one of the first times that they are really challenging us to uh, chain together a lot of our concepts and uh, attempt to best these horrible, horrible enemies. And we are, I believe, nearing the end of this demo. I haven't been keeping count, but of course we have uh, 19 levels here that we need to get through. Again, more adding to the concepts here, showing you that you are going to have to, in order to be successful at this game, chain together these techniques, and you are going to have to refine... Wow. You're going to have to refine these abilities as you go forward if you want to uh, really, really uh, succeed. And indeed, I'd like to succeed... Uh, so far, failing a bit at succeeding, but there we go. We made it. And we have reached the conclusion. 
So a little bit of a uh, sort of Metroid style ending here. Uh, but yeah, that's Frog Sword, guys. I have nothing but good things to say about it. It turned out to be pretty much exactly what I wanted uh, from the previews, from taking a look at the early version of the game. It really comes through. The gameplay is there. It It is as smooth as I thought it would be. It is as good as I thought it would be. Once this thing gets packaged up with music and all the complete levels, I think it's going to be absolutely a game to watch in 2014. Hopefully we'll see more of Frog Sword. I will be covering anything that Mech 6 is willing to send me on Frog Sword. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this early, early work in progress preview of Frog Sword. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.